Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so the next dram, we say dram in Scotland, the next dram is the Balvenie single barrel 15 year old. Now, single barrel means it's been in one cask all of its life. It's been 15 years in a traditional whiskey cask or bourbon cask. Now, before we taste this one, I want to show you a wee trick. We say wee trick from Scotland. He knows it, beautiful. Honey, vanilla, toffee. But then what I want you to do is dip your finger into it and rub it in the back of your hands until it's dry, burn off all the alcohol. Smell. It's the top of a wooden polished desk, yeah? You get all the wood and the oak and the leather on the top of the desk, yeah? You're burning off the alcohol so you can smell all the aromas. Quite a neat trick, isn't it? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this one is the Balvenie 14 year old Caribbean cask, or Caribbean cask we say in Scotland. Caribbean cask now, it's been finished in a rum cask, yeah? The first one we had today was single barrel, this one's finished in a rum cask. So what we do is, we get a beautiful Balvenie cask, a traditional whiskey cask, or bourbon cask, and we put rum into it, but not any old rum. We buy seven different types of white rum from the Caribbean, blend it together, make our own rum, and then put it into this cask and season the cask. Then we leave it for a year, then we take it out and we sell it back to the broker. We're not interested in the rum, we're interested in this beautifully seasoned cask, okay? So we're left with this beautifully seasoned rum finished cask, into which we put a 14 year old Balvenie. And it sits for six to nine months, absorbing all this beautiful flavour. So let's nose this one, shall we? Honey, vanilla, toffee like the other ones, but then you get the rum, the burnt sugars, the spices, smell the Caribbean, yes, the spices in this one are lovely. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so the one we tried earlier was a single barrel 15 year old. Remember the one when we rubbed it on our hand and you could smell the wood, smell the leather? It's the oak you're smelling. Now, Scotch whiskey, legally it must be matured in oak casks for a minimum of three years. The oak is very important. We've just discovered in the last 30 or 40 years that 70 to 80 percent of the characteristic of the whiskey comes from the wood. Now, as I say, it must be oak, but there are two different types of oak. There's European dark oak and American white oak. Now, the difference is, when you put the same spirit into two different casks, one European oak, one American oak, you leave them for 10 years, they will come out completely differently. They will mature completely differently. Different colour, different flavour profile. The American oak will be lighter, honey, vanilla, toffee flavours like the single barrel, 15. And the European oak one will be more like sherry, darker, burnt fruits, uh, burnt sugars, chocolate, prunes, spices, tobacco, things like that. So very different flavour profiles. The other difference is the char or toast on them. The European oak is just slightly toasted, whereas the bourbon cask are charred. Two or three millimetres of char you can see there, whereas the European oak is just slightly toasted. And the difference is the charring is actually used as a filter. The whisky is sucked in and out. You can see the tide mark on the cask there. The whisky gets sucked in and out with the seasons as it gets hotter and colder in the summer and the winter and then it absorbs all this beautiful flavour and colour from the wood. But that's the difference. American oak is charred for bourbon casks, European oak is just slightly toasted for sherry casks, so the wood is very important. Okay, so now ladies and gentlemen, when we're back at the distillery, the Balvenie distillery, it's dusty, it's dirty, it's smoky, beautiful smells, there's lots of men working. You see Dennis has been there 40 years, um, David Stewart's been there 50 years, a lot of guys have been there for a long time. And they used to tell you stories about what went on in the old days. There was a process called dramming. The men used to get three drams a day as part of their pay. And it was huge, big dr bumper drams. New make spirit. These drams we had today were 43% or 47.8%. This was 65, 70% alcohol. Very strong. And they got three a day. One in the morning, one at lunchtime, and one in the evening. Now, two reasons for this. One was to reward them for doing a dirty job. If, for example, they had to climb inside a big vat and clean it out, they would come out with their shirts off, pouring the sweat. There was one old guy who was really clever. He wouldn't do the job, but he would take his shirt off, wet his face, and line up <laughs> and get an extra dram as if he'd done it. There was another guy who used to um, get the new make spirit and put it in his motorcycle. He would run his motorcycle in new make spirit. That was the reason they were giving it, to stop stealing, because the guy stole the whiskey. And this is what they used. A whiskey dog or thief. So what they do is, they would go into the distillery, Check there were no bosses around, find a cask, bang on the side of it, make sure there's some whiskey still left in it, because remember it evaporates 2% per year to the angel's share. Take the bung out, in it went, glug, 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 fill it up, and then down the trousers and home. And that's how they stole the whiskey. For one, year, one gun guy, they thought for 20 years that he'd a limp. <laughs> he was stealing whiskey all the time, but there was nothing wrong with him, he saw him in town. There's nothing wrong with them. That's what the guys used to do. So lots of good old stories that Bulvenie distillery do one.
So as we were saying, ladies and gentlemen, the Balvenie is the most handcrafted single malt Scotch whisky. The Glenfiddich is the most awarded single malt Scotch whisky in the world. So thank you very much for coming, ladies and gentlemen. Slán